Taurus, hello, Amanda here. Welcome to Unseen Hands Healing. This is going to be your March shift reading. So for these monthly shift readings, we are looking at the shape you're shifting out of, the shape you're shifting into, and what that shape shift looks and feels like for you. So as I was meditating on your energy, I got this image of you as the bull. Powerful beast. I mean like big old horns, fire in the eyes, bull. And the bull ring was through your nose and you were being led by the bull ring. You know how like that's the, because it's in that sensitive part of the nose of the bull, there's so many nerve endings there and it's really sensitive. It's painful if it's tugged. That's how such a powerful beast can be led by someone tugging on the sensitive bits and sort of controlling them in that way. And so I'm wondering to what extent in your life right now you're being led by the bull ring, you know, like you're being led by that. Your movement is being kind of controlled by another. So then Taurus, <coughs> pardon, I pre-pulled the two main positions here for you, the shape you're shifting out of, the shape you're shifting into. You are shifting out of the Nine of Cups, generosity, and into the Knight of Arrows or the Knight of Swords, which is the Hawk. What a shift, Taurus, from generosity to the Hawk. What I'm getting with this is like, your part of your sensitive bits that people are using perhaps in your life or circumstances or environments are using in your life to like control you or manipulate you or like lead you around it's because of your generosity you know because you have this like naturally open abundant generous emotionally generous spirit where like you want to listen to everybody's stuff and you want to be there for everyone and you want to support people in your life it's like that's the exact part of you the the, the exact part of your nature that i think is kind of being used to control you at this point and i might be speaking to an extreme version of that for some of you. And I might be speaking to like a less extreme version of that. Take it how it resonates for you. But it's like, this is somehow the, it is a strength for you, but right now it's being used against you in some way to, to limit your movement or your freedom. Other people have the reins in the situation because of your generous nature. That's what I wanna say. And the shift is you moving into hawk mode which is interesting because it's the Knight of Swords, which is like fast forward movement in the tarot, which to me implies freedom, you know, like, and swords element, <coughs> pardon me, getting over a cough. Swords element speaks of mental thoughts, ideas, and the ways we communicate them, I think it's like you are working on knowing your truth so keenly, the hawk has this keen and sharp, precise vision. Knowing your truth so keenly that you're willing to fully go at full speed to pursue it. You know, it's like the hawk sits up on this branch to find its prey and once it finds it, once it locks in, it dives with like speed and precision and nabs it up before that thing even knows what's coming. That's kind of the energy. You're moving into this energy of going after what you want. No holds barred. Because you are aligned with your truth. Keen sight, you see, it's like you see the situation for what it is and you know how to break free from it. That's interesting. So let's pull some cards now. We're using the Wildwood Tarot, by the way. I didn't say that. Um, let's pull some cards for what this shift looks like, please. This shift from generosity to the hawk. Three cards for what this looks like for Taurus in March. It's like you're realizing what a fierce creature you are with the bird. 
that Hawk is a very fierce hunter. You're realizing how fierce and powerful you are and that you have wings to fly. You are not only um, held bound to the, to the earth. Yeah, hold on a second. We got an escape artist here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in very simple story playing out here, Taurus. The devil card, which in this deck is the guardian. We've got this like monster kind of energy. The queen of arrows, the queen of swords, the swan, and the nine of arrows dedication. Here's how I'm seeing this. <clears throat> I think this is what's controlling you. It's like there's two messages with this. There's, there's some other energy in your atmosphere, a person or an environment or a group dynamic, something like that, that has power over you in some way. And it's, and the task this month, the invitation this month is for you to see that, to see that some situation or person has a power over you and is perhaps taking advantage of your generosity and to rein in that. And, and part of you reigning in that energy is actually matching this energy with your own power, because this is a very powerful energy. Look at that. That's a beast. This one is, is beast mode. And the funny thing is what's been coming out for the channel for you for a while, Taurus, is for you to recognize your own power and your own inner animal and your own beast. I think this is like you recognizing the way others have power over you and how that keeps you small, how that keeps you stuck in one place. And the part of the key to you moving away from that is recognizing your own power because the hawk is a very powerful animal. You recognizing your own power, your own autonomy, your own freedom to fly and being like, screw this. I don't need to be under this power. I don't need to be under this kind of limitation and restriction. So here's what we've got. The swan swimming away, swimming away from that energy, being like mm, boundaries. The Queen of Swords talks about boundaries. It talks about saying no. It talks about saying, you know what? I'm not available for that. I'm sorry. I don't have the energy for that right now. Or that's not my job, actually. It's not my job to take care of that for you. Things like that. Instead of going with this nature, this generosity in your nature, which might say, okay, sure, I can do that for you. Or like, yeah, no problem. I'll be your doormat again. You know, it's like, no. This is you recognizing that that, that is how people have power over you and that is how you, more importantly, that's how you stay small and restricted and stuck as a person. And it's like, no way, you're gonna put in a boundary. Generosity is a really beautiful energy as long as there are boundaries healthy boundaries that come along with that generosity because it means you're only giving as much as you contain and that giving is being replenished back to you. And if it's not boundary, no, thanks. I can't help you with that. Actually, I have needs. I need to move around. I'm feeling stuck. I'm feeling stuck here. I need to go. And so the swan swims off <coughs> towards a focus and a dedication on yourself. This person has their eyes closed, very internally focused, very much, you know, working on the things they want to work on, dedicating yourself to your passions, the things you care about, the things that are true for you. And that's this this power combo that you're stepping into. 
And again, I want to stress that it's not that the gener generous nature that you possess is a bad thing. It's that perhaps in, in this situation, it's being taken advantage of. And there, the um, book associated with this deck, <coughs> The Wildwood, talks about some grief and loss associated with putting up a boundary or associated with moving away, choosing to swim away from something. Sometimes that can, even if that thing has power over you and is causing some sort of like pain in your life, the reason it, it has been there for so long or that like dynamic has been in place for so long is because on some level you're like familiar with it or used to it and therefore comforted by it. And so leaving your comfort zone and, and by putting up a boundary can be a difficult emotional experience. I just want to acknowledge that. But again, tap in to your power. Tap in to a very keen focus on yourself prioritizing you. Okay. All right, let's get you one of Brian Froud's fairies, fairy guidance for Taurus here in the month of March. What is the fairy guidance for Taurus here in March? Hmm. Aha, yeah. Great, the spirit dancer. I love this card. This is you, Taurus, flying free. This is you spreading your wings. This is you having room to move and dance and stretch your fingers out and explore the world beyond the confines that you've been in. The confines that perhaps others have held you in and, but more importantly, the confines that you have held yourself in by the ways that you have allowed your energy to leak out of yourself. Unbridled, that's also what I'm seeing in this card. It's just like your energy just going all outside of you and not necessarily replenishing you which is why you need to put up a boundary so that you can rediscover your own music so that you can rediscover your own rhythm. And like, I'm seeing this as you dancing with yourself. It's almost like this one is playing, a, playing an instrument and this one's dancing to it. It's like you dancing with your own spirit. It's so beautiful. This energy of just like being in rapturous freedom to move and explore within yourself maybe even by yourself. It's gorgeous. Freedom to fly. They both have wings. A hawk is absolutely free. And I think you need to be as well. Okay, <coughs> Taurus, I'm going to take this into an extended reading now. We are going to look deeper into this energy leak. What what is this thing that's that's got power over you and like in what ways are you being held back by this energy. How do you erect a boundary here? What is the way that you can say no? And then what does it mean to really dance in your own energy? And specifically, what is this, this hawk? What is this hawk energy? So we're going to look into that in the extended reading. If you would like to um, check that out, stick around at the end of this video, there's going to be a preview of that extended reading so that you can check it out, see if it resonates with you. And if it does, click the link in the description box below that will take you over to Patreon. Okay. Patreon is where you can view that extended. That is a community that I've created for folks who have been following my work for some time and are resonating with what I'm offering. Patreon is a place where you can dive deeper every month into these energies and in lots of other ways as well. So if that sounds like you, go check out Patreon. Please make sure you read the full description that is on the homepage that will clue you in as to how you can access this extended and how Patreon works, okay? 
Um, so maybe I'll see you over on Patreon for the extended. Um, but Taurus, regardless, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for supporting this work. If you are enjoying what I'm offering, please do click the like button and leave me a comment. Let me know how it's resonating for you. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so we can stay connected going forward. All right, Taurus. Happy March. Take care. This might be a specific dynamic in your life, but it's really preying upon a belief structure that is in your mind that tells you that somehow, like maybe you will be loved, accepted, never abandoned if you are constantly, constantly giving. The more I give of my energy, the more I will be loved. And that is not, that's a false belief system because it's, it's creating pain. It's creating situations where you're enduring pain and pain at, you know, uh, someone else's pleasure at your own expense. That is not a reciprocal exchange. And that is, there are much richer experiences of love available to you. And I think <clears throat> part of this shift for you is, is a mental shift shift seeing that clearly and then making the shift in your thinking <clears throat> because you're ready to expand this earth card has been coming out for you which is your energy Taurus you're an earth sign and I've been seeing it as these mushrooms wanting to expand beyond their world wanting to grow beyond you're ready to do that and you're impatient you're impatient to grow beyond the world see look at the parallels here you want to be bigger, go bigger, grow bigger than the than your current world. And really what this is saying is part of the pain that you're experiencing in not having the room and the freedom to do that has to do with your own um, mental structures and your own beliefs about what is possible for you. 